have we got a treat for you today? We're going to be talking about two mega mics, the Neumann TLM103 and AKG's 414 XL Mark II. So let's roll the intro and now. Hey, yo, 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 people, how you all getting on? This is your boy, Popsy, the music machine. Welcome back to Future Shock Studios, episode two, Battle of the Mics. Now, if I sound a bit different, it's probably because I'm a bit bunged up. The voiceover for the whole episode is gonna be done on the 414 XL Mark II. Today, we're gonna be talking about this beast, which is the TLM 103. And one minute, one minute, hold on. And a forgotten mic. I don't know if it's a forgotten mic, but not a lot of people actually talk about this mic. It's possibly used in many, many studios across the world in professional recordings. That's the AKG 414 XL Mark II. There are other variations of this mic in the C414 range, but the one that I purchased was the XL Mark II. The first mic that we're going to be talking about is 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 this particular mic, the C414XL Mark II. When I set up this studio a couple of years back, the first mic I actually wanted to buy was the 414 Mark II, simply because I've been using it for over 20 years, well, versions of it for several years now. So what comes in the box? We've got the actual mic, the, the C414XL Mark II, included in that universal shock mount. It is plastic made. It does the job. So the mic comes in a metal carrying case, which is fantastic the other thing we get is this little pop filler let's try putting it on see if it makes any bit of difference okay so that's my voice with the pop filler this mic does have a proximity effect so the, the closer i get to it you could probably hear what it sounds like and the further i get away normally i tend to be about six to eight inches maybe ten inches away <laughs> The, the mic has several polar patterns. Some of them are the cardioid, figure eight, hypercardioid, omnidirectional, and the wide cardioid. The frequency uh, bandwidth for this mic is 20 to 20,000 hertz. Uh, you have a switch that gives you minus six, minus 12, and minus 18 dB for those vocals that are gonna be extremely loud. So it also has a bass cut filter at 160, 80, and 40 hertz. So the finish on it is dark gray with this kind of gold mesh on it. The polar pattern changes are across the front. You will require a balanced XLR cable. I would normally use it on vocals, but I have used it on some instrumentations. So just checking the frequency response on the TLM 103 now. Uh, again, it's from 20 to 20,000 hertz. It's got a slight lift at the 5K mark, which starts dipping it around the, say, sort of 17, 18,000 mark. The polar pattern is cardioid. The frequency range is 20 to 20,000. And if it matters to any of you, the max SPL on this is 138 decibels. Weight is 450 grams, so it's a lot heavier than the AKG, which is 300 grams so the tlm 103 is a studio condenser microphone with a cardioid polar pattern so here's the mic with the shock mount in comparison to the akg feels a lot more sturdier but it's a very expensive shock mount i think they retail it at around three to four hundred pound i prefer having shock mounts on all my mics the akg 414 comes with the shock mount whereas the tlm 103 unfortunately you have to go and buy it yourself today's recording was done via apollo twin x duo and via logic okay i've brought my good friend rach she's going to be doing tests on the akg 414 XL Mark II, as well as the Neumann TLM 103. You do something when you take two steps right. I see beauty laying in your deep blue mind. One, two, three, four, kind of while you take a breath. It's easier to do it alone, you say, but I'll be a friend. You do something when you take two steps right. I see beauty laying in your deep blue mind. One, two, three, four, can while you take a breath. It's easier to do it alone, you say, but I'll be a friend. You do something when you take two steps right. I see beauty laying in your deep blue mind. 
One, two, three, four, can I while you take a breath? It's easier to do it alone, you say, but I'll be your friend. You do something when you take two steps right. I see beauty laying in your deep blue mind. One, two, three, four, can I while you take a breath? It's easier to do it alone, you say, but I'll be your friend. These walls built up, up, up. No, I can run, I can run. They built up, up, up. How do I tear them down? Please help me. These walls built up, up, up. No, I can run, I can run. Walls built up, up, up. How do I tear them down? Please help me. These walls built up. Up, up, no, I can run, I can run They built up, up, up How do I tear them down? Please help me These walls built up, up, up No, I can run, I can run Walls built up, up, up how do I tear them down? Please help me. Happiness is not a destination. It's not a new boyfriend. It's not a new job. It's not a completed goal. It's not a new car. Until you give up the idea that happiness is somewhere else, it will never be where you are. Getting your life together requires a level of honesty you can't even imagine. There's nothing easy about realising you're the one who's been holding you back this whole time. Happiness is not a destination. It's not a new boyfriend. It's not a new job. It's not a completed goal. It's not a new car. Until you give up the idea that happiness is somewhere else, it will never be where you are. Getting your life together requires a level of honesty you can't even imagine. There's nothing easy about realising you're the one that's been holding you back this whole time. What did you guys think? Could you tell a big difference between the two mics? Have you actually got a preference between either mic? I enjoy using both of them. The AKG, like I've already said, has bells and whistles. You've got the extra nine polar patterns and you've got the, the pad switches. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think? There's a vast difference in price between both of the mics. In conclusion, for myself, I love both mics. I think they both sound absolutely great. They've definitely got a different tone to both of them. That's very subjective. What sounds good to one person may not sound good to the other person. If you found any value in this uh, episode, please like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already checked out episode one, which included the U87, the Neumann TLM103 and the Stellar X2, go and check it out now. For now, take care. Speak soon. Bye.